Hi there, it's Ina here, and today I want to alter this little folder. It's actually an old uh, cookbook folder, and I want to mainly cover the white areas. So please follow along. It's uh, pretty simple and pretty quick. Talk to you later. Now completing this project was not quite as simple as I had hoped. As I took off the tape, it took a little bit of background with it right on these two sides. Here it's pretty straight, but here it's pretty raggedy. I think I put these elements a little too close to the tape. Anyway, it is what it is, not too terrible. And the spine is pretty good. It has a little dip here, but otherwise it's fairly straight. Now, I love the way the colors came out, the brightness, and the Mod Podge really gave it some nice shine. I, of course, love the texture. That feels just really, really nice. Now, on the back, there is a little surprise. Ta-da! Yep, when I start taking off the tape, it basically peeled off all what I had painted on here. And that's <laughs> what I had left. Uh, the sides here had the tape. I already took that off. Here you can see the tape. Now, how cool is that, though? It was a bit of a surprise. Definitely not my plan. But this looks really cool. So now I have an acrylic skin. 
and I will definitely use it on something. I'm not sure yet what, but I will find some use for it. Now, it took it off very clean, but rather than getting back into it with color, I just added a very simple piece of contact paper, and that's all right. This folder is going to be for storage, and so I added little pockets here to keep my die cuts. Now, I don't have a die cut machine, but some of my friendly and kind uh, crafty friends uh, shared some of their images with me, so they keep them nice organized in here. Now, what did I learn from this uh, mistake I made? One thing I think the reason this and the spine stayed put and didn't peel off is most probably because of the glue I used on it. It probably mixed with the gesso and therefore gave it more of a hold. Over here, it just had paint. There was no glue involved. Uh, but secondly, I think I was just trying to make a little shortcut uh, because when you cover all this in paper, which then needs to really go around the edges, you also have to end up uh, covering the inside, and it's, of course, a lot more work. Now, the inside was rather plain and clean, and I just wanted to leave it that way. And even this little design here, I thought, wasn't... Uh, so bad. So I was trying to incorporate it and well, it kind of worked out. But I guess you have to take a choice of uh, taking a risk to work on this really slicky material or to just cover it first and then you surely can work on top of that with anything you might like and it won't peel off. But then again, who knows, maybe it's a lucky accident and I can make something cool with this thing. <laughs> So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this in spite of my boo-boos or maybe because of it. So I see you soon again. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.